Hello and welcome to a new video of the Polynomial Academy, a series where we will discuss the most important crypto trading and DeFi concepts. Do you also have a friend who catches the market movements before they happen? If yes, then it is very likely that they use technical analysis. In today's video, we will get to know more about technical analysis and a popular method of using it called trading indicators. While there are many different ways of doing technical analysis, indicators are one of the most popular and relatively simple method for it. We will also take a look at some indicators which are useful for crypto trading. But you know, another thing that will be very useful is to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon because we will keep bringing important crypto concepts for you. So make sure you do that. And now we'll get started with this video. Technical analysis is the study of historic price data with the aim to predict the patterns in future price movements. It's also called charting because most of the technical analysis methods are based on candlestick charts. Technical analysis is very widely used in all types of financial markets like stocks, commodities, and of course, crypto. The idea of technical analysis is based on the logic of history repeats itself. Technical analysts believe that price movements are not completely random and studying historic data would prove to be useful when a similar price pattern occurs in the future. The price patterns tend to be similar because traders' overall thinking doesn't change in the long term. They trade under the influence of emotions like greed and fear, which determines market demand and supply, ultimately affecting the prices. In that sense, technical analysis is the study of consistent human behavior and its impact on demand and supply. So let's understand what are trading indicators. Trading indicators are mathematical tools which help in studying historical price data and identifying trading opportunities. Traders use the combination of price movements and indicators to either understand price trend or find entry and exit levels for a trade. Most trading softwares already include the commonly used indicators and traders don't need to calculate them manually. You just need to select an indicator from the drop-down menu and it will appear as an overlay on the chart. Now that you know about trading indicators, let's look at some popular ones which are useful while trading crypto. Number one, simple moving average. Simple moving averages or SMA helps understand the current price trend or the broader direction of the market. It helps you analyze whether you should take a long trade or a short trade on a specific contract. SMAs are always calculated for a specific time period. For example, 10 day SMA, 50 day or 200 day SMAs. As the name suggests, SMAs are calculated by taking the average closing price of the contract for the respective time period. SMAs are used by traders in many different ways. A lot of the traders use SMAs as a dynamic support level from where the price may reverse its direction. Some traders also use moving average crossover where two or more SMAs are used together. For example, if the 50-day SMA crosses above the 200-day SMA and moves upward, it's a bullish signal on the chart. Next up, we have Relative Strength Index. Relative Strength Index or RSI shows the strength or weakness of the price trend. It indicates the level of confidence that traders have in the current market movement. RSI is calculated by comparing the current price level to its overall velocity over the last 14 days and it is represented as a value between 0 to 100. There are mainly two ways in which traders use the RSI indicator. As I just mentioned, comparing price movement with the movement in RSI helps in understanding the confidence level of the traders in the market. For example, if the price of ETH per goes up from $2,000 to $2,500 and the RSI value also rises from 50 to 60, it shows strength and higher conviction in the upward movement. On the other hand, if the RSI value drops from 40 to 30, while the ETH per price increases, it indicates that the demand is getting weaker and the sellers may soon dominate the market. Another way to use the RSI is for identifying overbought or oversold price levels. If the RSI level is over 70, the price is considered to be overbought and the upward trend may soon take a pause. And if the RSI level is below 30, the price is considered to be oversold and the downtrend may pause soon. Number 3. Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD has been developed by combining two different moving averages and is also used in a similar manner to them. MACD is made up of two lines, the MACD line and the signal line. 
While we don't need to understand the complex calculations, the indicator does help us gain insights from the interactions between these two lines and their comparison with the price. The first way of using MACD is similar to that of RSI. If both the price and the lines in the MACD indicator rise, it shows strength in the bullish trend. However, a decrease in the MACD lines while the price rises indicates that the sellers might soon take control of the market. The second way of using MACD is similar to moving average crossovers. For example, if the MACD line crosses above the signal line and moves upwards, it's seen as a bullish signal in the market. On the other hand, when the MACD line crosses below the signal line and moves further downwards, it's considered a bearish sign. Technical analysis and trading indicators are important tools even for experienced traders. I'm confident that you will be able to analyze the markets better now that you're familiar with them. But there's a lot more to learn if you want to up your trading game. And we'll ensure that you learn all of that right here on this channel. So subscribe and press that bell icon to avoid missing out. And I'll see you in the next one.